हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू माय चैनल माय चैनल राजी मौर्य एंड हियर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम मोर अबाउट डेटा हैंडलिंग इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड द बेसिक एंड फंडामेंटल टॉपिक एंड डेफिनेशन ऑफ डाटा हैंडलिंग एंड आई होप दैट यू गॉट एवरीथिंग क्लियर and having note down in last video we have discussed about the mean and i hope the concept of mean is clear to everyone as i told you that mean is actually the average value of the given data okay so today let us see some more example which based on mean for first of all i need to write here the formula by which we shall get the arithmetic means of the given data so the mean says that sum of all data upon number of data this is the arithmetic mean sum of all data upon number of data and here we are going to find out the mean of some data using this formula so the first question is given that 20 50 20 and 50 okay this is the given data and we have to find out arithmetic mean that is the mean of this data so first of all using the above formula we have to find out the sum of all these data so here we write 20 plus 50 plus 20 plus 10 plus 50 okay and now count the data 1 2 3 4 5 so number of data that is n is 5 and here we write the addition form of this data upon number of total data so here we have got number of total data is 5 so divide it by 5 now find the sum of the above line so here we get 20 plus 50 70 70 plus 20 90 and this 150 upon 5 this is the fraction now simplify 5 on your 5 and 5 is the 50 therefore 30 is the right answer therefore 30 is the exact and required mean of the given data therefore 30 is the right answer so student i hope it is clear how we shall find out the mean of the given data okay now let us see one more question again after that we shall see the median the next question is 15 20 80 75 five and 50 this is the given data and we have to find the mean so we know that mean is equal to sum of all data therefore we write mean n is equal to 50 plus 20 plus 80 plus 75 plus 5 and plus 50 and now count the number of data so 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 therefore number of data is 6 therefore divide it by 6 okay so at last we get 
20 plus 80 100 100 plus 80 180 180 plus 50 230 and 230 plus 15 we get 245 this is the sum of these data upon 6 now solve it so when we solve we get 3 2 is 6 3 8 is 24 and 3 1 is 3 point 3 is 18 so here we get 81.67 upon 2 again we can divide so when we divide we get 2 1 uh, 2 2 2 4 is 8 0 2 8 is 16 and 2 3 is 6 2 5 is 10 so here we get 40.84 40.84 is the required mean of the given data ok student so I hope it is clear how we find out the mean of the given data so this is the process through which we shall find out the mean of some given data okay so i hope the concept of mean is clear 100 percent clear to everyone now let us see the next topic that is the median median what does median say median suggest the middle value of the data okay suppose that not 6 3 8 if three numbers or data is given and we have to find out the median median suggest its middle value but as i told you that the data that we get in initial form is called raw data and it become essential to arrange them in ascending and descending order in order to make them array so here first of all we need to arrange it in ascending or descending order so first of all we shall arrange without arranging in ascending or descending order we cannot find out its middle value therefore we arrange in ascending order we get 3 6 8 now 3 6 8 is in the ascending order now we can find out the middle value so here we can see that 6 lies in the middle of the given data therefore 6 will be the median of the given data therefore 6 will be the median of the given data okay so this is the concept of median that is the mean value middle value of the data okay student since the number of data may be odd or even because we are not sure about the number of data therefore its formula also vary according to the number of data so let us see its formula for various number of data okay there are two formula defined in order to get the median so here first case the in first case is that when number of data is even number of data is even whenever such type of data we get in which the number of data are 4 6 8 and so on in this case we use the formula of median m is equal to 1 upon 2 
जेल बाय फोर्थ टर्म प्लस एल बाय टू प्लस वन प्लस मदद टर्म वी यूज दिस फॉर्मूला टू गेट द मीडियम वेन द नंबर ऑफ टर्म इन द डेटा इज इवेन when the number of term of data is even then we shall use the formula of median m is equal to 1 by 2 n by 2 term plus n by 2 plus 1 plus 1th term which give us the median of such data which have the term as even number okay in second case when number of data is odd like 5 7 9 11 in such case we use median m is equal to n by 2 term very simple when number of data is odd then we use m is equal to n by 2 term which keep the number of total sorry n plus 1 by 2 n plus 1 by 2 term which gives the median of such data which having the number of term in data is odd okay so, so these are two formula that we shall use in order to get the median of given data now let us see some question of median the first question is find the median of 16 7 7 15 and 5 this is the given question and we have to find out median of this data so as i told you that first of all we have to write this data in ascending or descending order okay but here for our convenience we shall write this data in ascending order so this may be written as 5 7 7 15 and 16 okay now we shall decide the number of data is even or odd so count 1 2 3 4 5 5 number of term in this data is 5 therefore number of data n is equal to 5 which is odd so whenever whenever number of term in data is odd then we use the formula median m is equal to n plus 1 by 2 term okay now put the value the value of n is 5 plus 1 by 2 this will be equal to 6 by 2 is equal to third term is equal to 3 that is the third term okay now again we shall go in the array and here we tally with this 3 this third term represent that the number of data which present at the place of 3 in this array will be the median of the given data therefore the third term of this data is 7 therefore 7 will be the required result 
therefore seven will be the median of the given data okay students so in this way we can easily find out the median of given data i hope the idea to find out median from the given data is clear so i suggest all students try to solve more and more question at your home for the perfection we shall meet in the next video with some new question till then goodbye